a vendor sells apples at a certain price in order to make a profit of 30%. In order to make a profit of 30%. If he charges rupees 1.5 higher per apple, he would get a profit of 60%. He would get a profit of 60%. Find the original price at which he sold an apple. I would like to draw your attention to a word here. Sold an apple. Be careful. He's asking us to find out the selling price, the original selling price of the apple. So vendor has sold apples at a certain price in order to make a profit of 30%. So let us assume at whatever price he sells S, the profit is 30%. So can you say S is equal to 130% of C? Because you know that if the profit is 30%, selling price is 130% of the cost price. So profit 30% implies the selling price is 130% of the cost price. If he charges 1.5 higher per apple, he would have got a profit of 60%. So which means if S becomes S plus 1.5, he would have made a profit of 60%. And we know that if the profit is 60%, then the selling price is 160%. So can I say this selling price now, S plus 1.5 is 160% of the cost price. S is equal to 130% of the cost price. Selling price is 130% of the cost price because the profit made is 30%. But when he charges 1.5 more, he, get, he gets a profit of 60%. So his selling price can be considered as 160% of the cost price. What is the original price at which he sold an apple? So basically, from our equations, he's asking us to find out S, the value of S. What is the value of S is the question. What is the original price at which he sold an apple? See, understand, can I break this... 160 percentage as 130 percentage of cost price plus 30 percentage of cost price. Now you may ask me why am I doing so? For simple reasons that the calculation becomes easy. 160 percentage can be taken as 130 percent plus 30 percentage. Now what's the advantage? I already know that selling price is 130 percentage of cost price. So on the right hand side I have 130 percentage of cost price. On the left hand side I have S which is 130 percentage of cost price. Both get cancelled. So can I now say that 1.5 is actually 30% of the cost price? Done. I know all of you have done the same thing. And by the way, all that we have done here so far has to be done mentally. You cannot afford to put pen on paper for this one. You should be doing this step mentally. That 1.5 is 30% of the cost price. But what is he asking us to find out? He's asking us to find out the selling price, S which is 130%. So if 1.5 is 30%, 130% is equal to what? 130% of the cost price is equal to what? You're getting it? 1.5 is 30%. 130% is equal to what? Cross multiply. It's asking us to get S, right? S is the question mark, but it should be equal to 130%. Cross multiply. So from this, what do we get? The question mark will be equal to 130% into 1.5 by 30%. Of course, C and C gets cancelled, percentage percentage also gets cancelled. Do the simplification. What happens? 1.5 by 3, 1.5 by 3 is 0.5. 0.5 into 13 is 6.5. So the selling price is 6.5 rupees per apple. Selling price, original selling price is 6.5 per apple. And all of you, most of you I would say, have got option 5, none of this. But when I inquired for the correct answer, you said we are getting 5, which is wrong. 5 is the cost price. If 1.5 is 30 percentage, 100 percent will be 5. But did he ask us to find out the cost price? He has asked us to find out the original price at which he sold the apple. The original price at which he sold the apple means the selling price. And this is a simple, simple question. How do you go wrong? You are very lucky that fifth option, none of this is the correct answer. But if you understand, you are all wrong. All of you are wrong. All of you are wrong. You should actually take minus 0.25 for this question instead of taking plus 1. Right? I am sure if one of the options here had been let's say 5 rupees, you would have marked 5 as the answer. You would have all marked option 3 as the answer. So you are lucky that 5 was not available in the options. Right? Answer is 6.5 per apple.